So I'm encouraging the thought, but yeah, I think for you... It's not your average classroom think, uh, here at Breaking the Cycle. This program yeah, encourages at-risk so youth to stay away from gangs and move in a positive direction. Shaka Licorice, case manager at Breaking the Cycle, says he's concerned about the new mayor's focus on trimming the city's budget. Licorice says the city needs to take an interest in its youth. There's things that receive more priority than others, but I don't think our future, the young people who potentially could themselves run for mayor one day, need to be neglected. Toronto City Council has designated this Jamestown community in Rexdale a high-priority neighbourhood. This means it needs greater investment in community services to reduce things like crime and joblessness, which are prevalent in the area. Just down the street at West Humber Collegiate, a group called Pathways to Education offers after-school tutoring to help students achieve success at school. It's not uncommon here to see students working well into the evening hours completing homework assignments. Jarrison Sunagun volunteers his time with this organization. The Humber College student says having grown up in Rexdale himself, he knows the advantage of a program like this. These kids, they they live in Jamestown, but some of them are like the, those troublemaker ones, like the, the kids that, that just don't give uh, bleep. And, those are the type of kids that really need to be in here. Pathways is able to run its programming mainly based on support from private businesses. Rob Ford mentioned in a mayoral debate last month that similar programs lacking funding should look to the private sector for money. But Licorice asked... And if his private ventures be willing to give, give our program or other arts ventures, you know, some of that money... Pam Ball for the DailyPlanet.com.